Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Gulp.js, uh, what they call it right here on their website is the streaming build system. Uh, Gulp.js is like somebody answered a prayer that I didn't realize I should be making. Uh, we are going to jump right in, but uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about Gulp.js versus Crunch.js, and uh, uh, that's totally a comparison. Gulp.js is at this point a replacement for uh, Crunch.js. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to load up this little uh, dummy project I've got here, so... Okay, so just so you can see what I've got going on here, uh, I've got a directory called build that has an index.html file in it. It uh, also has a directory called CSS with nothing in it. I've got a directory called dev that has a directory called CSS. Now I've got a bunch of these little CSS files here. Now to install gulp, it's npm install gulp oh, tag g uh sorry gulp oh my god tag g that'll uh, give you the command line interface i've already done that at this point uh, i'm going to load this up in sublime really quick just so you can get a look at what i've got going on here uh, so again in my build i've got a, a html file here referencing a style sheet that doesn't exist yet uh, in my dev directory i've just got a css directory i've got a bunch of these uh just separate CSS files for different colors. So a blue, an orange, a red, they've all got, you know, some comments. They're formatted out and so forth. Uh, what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to install Gulp. Uh, Gulp, uh, let's see, there's a lot of plugins. I'm gonna use Concat and Gulp Minify CSS. So we'll let those install and then we'll start writing our gulp file. So just like grunt has a grunt file, gulp has a gulp file. Uh, so once this is all up and running, getting there. Okay, we're there. Uh, so I'm also going to create a gulp file.js and we'll go ahead and get started with that. So the idea here is that we're going to concatenate and minify all these CSS files and we're going to drop it into uh, the build directory and let's just load that up really quick so you can see what that's doing uh, absolutely nothing uh, let's zoom this in a bit uh, so this should be blue red and green you can see I've got the classes blue red and green and orange on those uh, down here it's saying it's, uh, it's uh, failed to load the resource uh, site.css so here's our gulp file and uh, we're just going to jump right in so var gulp equals require. So if you've done any node uh, programming, this is all going to be very, very familiar to you. And, uh, and that's part of what just makes me really happy about it, uh, is that it's it's using the node syntax, the common JS syntax, rather than all of the uh, grunt uh, configuration file. I still love grunt. I'm still using grunt uh, all over the place. Uh, but I got to tell you where I get the chance to play with it, I'm using Gulp. So we're bringing in our plugins just like you would uh, any cat module. Uh, cat. Okay, so we've got those there. Let's tab this out a little bit. And uh, now we're ready to create our task. And unlike run, you know, where we're going to do an init, config, and a whole bunch of configuration, we just write our tasks. Sorry. Gulp, not grunt, <laughs> task. Uh, so we're going to give it a name. We're going to call this one CSS. That's going to take a callback. Again, very uh, much, you know, the node syntax. Again, and that's that's what's really got me very happy about all this. So the first thing we're going to do, there's a lot of, there, there are tons and tons of plugins for Gulp, uh, but there's a few things that are just built right in uh, that you don't have to worry about. Uh, so this is our source. We're going to say dev slash CSS slash uh, just any CSS file there. And now this is really cool. We can just pipe uh, uh, the next thing onto this. So let's say I'm going to concat those files uh, into site.css. And I'm going to pipe all that, or well, the site.css. So now I've got, I've taken the source files from the dev slash CSS directory. I've concat concatenated them into site.css and I'm going to minify those and so to do that uh, you can see you know I, I uh, declare this variable minify CSS for the gulp minify CSS plugin and then down here I just say minify CSS 
And then uh, the next one is going to be the destination. So where do I want it to go? Gulp.dest. And I want that to go to build slash CSS. Uh, so there's my task right there. I mean, I can run that right now, I believe. So let's clear this out really quick. So let's just see this happen. So gulp CSS. It's working. And you can see I created my new CSS file right there. If I load this up, I got my red, green, uh, red, blue, red, green, and orange. Uh, so that works great. Uh, so the next thing we might want to do is uh, let's go ahead and set up the default task so we don't have to do gulp CSS. Uh, so that's going to be gulp dot oh, task, and we just name it default. And then again, very node like, we just pass in a function and we say gulp dot run. And we tell it the task we want to run. So CSS, let's try that one time. So now uh, we're just going to say gulp. And you know what? Let me go ahead and delete this CSS file really quick just so we can see it get recreated. No. And uh, so now just gulp. And it did it again. So there's our file there. Uh, so one other thing uh, is uh, so let's create a watch on this. So part of our default task, let's make a watch. Uh, and again, this is an area where uh, we don't need an extra plugin. Gulp will just do it for us. It's it's built into Gulp, so we can say watch those uh, dev CSS full uh, files. Uh, so and then again a callback function, and we just say Gulp dot run CSS. So now we've got a watch. Uh, so let's delete this one more time. Delete yes, and uh, let's close that. So now, let me move this over here. Now we're going to run gulp. And you can see uh, it's hanging on there. It's waiting, you know, it's watching. So if something changes, it's going to rerun that process. So let's go here into our blue. And uh, I don't know, let's just make that green. Save it. You can see it's running. It ran it, you know, 13 milliseconds. It reran it. Uh, let's jump over here. And our blue is now green. And our new CSS is there. And that is pretty awesome. Uh, change that back to blue, save it, and I don't know if you saw it because it was really, really fast there, uh, but it reran the uh, CSS. So red, save it, it ran again. Blue, save it, it ran again. Uh, so there you go. That's a quick look at Gulp.js, uh, which is, uh, I, I mean, a real contender to replace Grunt.js. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.